Child support cases in North Carolina um, are subject to something we call the guidelines. When I say we, I mean professionals in the legal system. And it's in large measure a mathematical equation. And there are always exceptions. That in family law, there's an exception to every rule, really, when I think about it. Um, but there are, there are calculations done basically on charts. Uh, it's almost like an actuarial chart if you're in, in kind of the experience of insurance, uh, where you take the income of the parent or parents, depending on how that all works out, and you take the number of ch children or individual child, and they say, if it's this amount of money, and you look down and you go, that's how much it is a month. Okay, so it is very formulaic, it's preset. Now, there are lots of considerations in, in, that, in that chart, meaning if you make over a certain amount, uh, or, or there's substantial assets um, in, in, in with the parents, um, the guidelines are a little bit more, well, they're, they're less inapplicable because they, they, they stop at a certain number. Uh, so um, as divorce lawyers, we have to kind of work through that of what's fair for the child support and we, versus alimony and things of that nature. They're, they're technically separate, but we do consider a series of different factors in, 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 in setting this. Uh, and then there are times where if you don't make enough uh, money and, and you don't fall up on the child support guidelines, how does that work? So the answer is depends. Now, when as a as a family law attorney, if you come in and say, "Well, how much is my child support going to be?" I'm probably going to do a timeout, blow the whistle, and say, "Let's let's stop here for a minute and let's back up. I got a bunch of other questions to ask you." Meaning, who is going to have the child? Or is one person going to be the primary um, uh, person that takes care of the children? Are, are they are you even entitled to child support, or is there going to be a split type of deal? Or how does this all work? Uh, the courts, you know, overarching principles here is they want the best interest of the children. Um, you are legally required to take care of your offspring, your progeny, your children. You're not doing anyone a favor by paying child support. Um, I occasionally hear people say, I'm a good person, I pay my child support, and I'm like, well, I'm, I don't doubt you're a good person, but you're not going to get a gold star for paying your child support. You're required to do it. Um, not to be hard about that, but I want to be realistic right from the outset. We'll sit down with you. We'll talk with you. We'll explain things. We'll want to look at financial statements because that's what the judges do. That's what the courts do. And if there's a dispute, that's what the other party does as well. Uh, it's complicated. It can be messy because you may want the child and, and, and have no involvement with the other person. And I hear that. I don't even want any child support. And the court may say, well, okay, um, I guess that's possible, but it's certainly unusual. And, and we would tend to normally see some level of support. Give us a ring. Uh, these are complicated issues, and, and, and there's a fair amount of litigation that takes place on both child custody and child support and things like visitation. 704-342-4357. My name is Bill Powers, and I help people with family law issues in Charlotte, North Carolina.